Football Friday Night with Rod Smith and the KRCG 13 Sports Team is brought to you by GFI Digital, Kempker Heating and Air Conditioning, Steve's Pest Control, and Custom Screen Printing and Embroidery. It's Football Friday Night. Here's Rod Smith. Along with Tony Mullen, good evening and welcome to a football Friday night. Four high school games in Columbia this evening, all delayed because of lightning. And Tony, uh -huh. you watched a good one, a showdown <laughs> between Hickman and Helias once they got it started. Both yeah. coming off thrilling opening night. One games. of the many delayed games tonight. Yeah, both of them big wins last Friday night. And one of these teams would start 2-0. and Helias hasn't done that since 2014. Hickman, you got to go back a little ways to 2012. Cupies finally playing in front of their home fans for the first time this season after a road trip last week and a 50 minute lightning delay tonight. Second straight road game for Elias after that win at Hannibal. It didn't take the Crusaders long. First possession of the game, Jake Weaver the shovel blast to Blake Veltrop and he'll do the rest. 48 yards to Pater, 7-0 Elias just 67 seconds into the game. Sater's looking for more on the next possession, but how about some special teams? Cupies come up with the block field goal, still seven zip. Elias though, with more offense. Second quarter, Weaver throwing it deep. He has Zach Ware on the receiving end. He's finally taken down inside the 10 yard line. That would lead to another Weaver touchdown pass hitting Adam Wilbers. Elias was up 17 to nothing at that point. Crusaders rolling. Hickman just got on the board, but it is 34 to 8. Elias up in the fourth quarter. Looks like Elias will end up 2 0 to start the season. And after back to back road games, they finally get to play a home game next week against Viani. The Cupies, meanwhile, they'll be in Jefferson City to play the Jays next and week. Jays and Cupies both with new head coaches. Right. Cupies <laughs> losing tonight, probably Jeff City back at home tonight after a rough opening night loss with Kirkwood hosting Hannibal at Adkins Stadium. Terry Walker looking for his first win as Jays head coach. Hannibal scored a first quarter touchdown up 7-0. Jays first points of the season come on the quarterback sneak first Play the second quarter game tied 7-7. The range would start to fall. Next Jaybird possession. Roberson in again on the keeper. Goes in from a yard out. Jays take their first lead of the season. 13-7. They go for two and they get it. Roberson to Levi Job make it 15-7 Jeff City. Hannibal though got a couple long touchdown runs from Damian French in the second quarter. The Pirates would go up 21-15 at halftime. Jaybirds though good halftime talk by Terry Walker back and forth in the second half. The Jaybirds would win this thing 30-27. First victory for Terry Walker. Jays are 7-7. Seven seven. Hannibal 0-2 against Jefferson City teams. Back to Columbia, weather delay for 30 minutes. The Rockbridge Bruins opening the home season against DeSmet after an impressive win over Rockhurst last week. Rockbridge defense causing the fumble. Martez Manuel with a hit. David Geismers recovers, but the Bruins couldn't get the offense going early. DeSmet did. Nate Martins hits Jordan Johnson. This play is 86 yards and a touchdown pass for DeSmet. The visiting Spartans stunning the Brewers. Bruins with a 21 to nothing lead in the first quarter. Here's a big play for Rockbridge. Grant Hadjasek sets up the screen. Spencer Nivens goes 77 yards the other way. Touchdown Bruins. DeSmet though led it 21 to 10 at half. It's now 35 10. It looks like the Bruins may lose for the first time this season. That game still play, being played in the fourth quarter. More football in Columbia, the battle Spartans. First home game hosting Sedalia Smith Cotton. Both teams coming off wins last night. This one was late starting, slow start for Smith Cotton. Stops battle here. Spartans opening drive as they try to convert on a fourth down battle. Cheerleaders getting into it. Jaron Lewis able to break free up the middle. 17 yard run, but battle trails in this game. Justin Conyers team. Looks like they will go down to defeat 32-16. The score right now in the fourth quarter at Battle High. Meanwhile, Camdenton wins for the second straight week. A big one over Parkview, 44-6. The Lakers go 2-0. Rala falls, evening up on the season as West Plains. The Zizzers win it 49-0 over Rala. Another long bus ride for the Blair Oaks Falcons. It was worth every mile last week. 
And it was again tonight. Big win over the defending state champions from Maryville. Great way to start the new Ted LePage era. Blair Oaks traveling west again this week to Oak Grove High School near Kansas City. They are feeling right at home on the road. Another great performance for Ted LePage and company. Quick start first quarter. Braden Pritchett punches it over at the goal line. Seven to nothing. Falcons on top. Later on, Nolan Hare airs it out to Ben Thomas. This play goes 32 yards. Pretty pass. 14 nothing. Blair Oaks with a great connection. Second quarter. Same thing. Hare to Thomas. Over the middle. Thomas does the rest. He's heading to the house for another Falcons touchdown. 21 to nothing. Blair Oaks on top in complete control. A few minutes later, another slant over the middle. Hare to Braden Pritchett. Senior to senior, another score, make it 28 nothing Falcons. This team is so much fun to watch. They'll finally get a home game next week. When you know things are going right, the ball is tipped up and caught. Jaden Purdy pulls it in for the eight yard touchdown, 35 nothing Blair Oaks. You might see that play again. Still in the second quarter, Hare, fifth touchdown pass of the half to a wide open Ben Thomas. That's his third touchdown catch. Falcons led it 41 to nothing at the half. They go on to win it 48 zip. Blair Oaks is 2 0. We'll be live at Blair Oaks next week for our Central Bank KRCG tailgate. Be sure to wear green. Home opener for the Fulton Hornets tonight. Former Mizzou Tiger Trey Barrow looking for his first win. Tough test against Southern Boone. This is a good team from Ashland. Eagles would score early and often. Colby Phillips. Opens the scoring with a two yard touchdown run later in the opening quarter. Hornets punting. Sam Sticknote fields the ball. This guy does everything. Plays baseball, basketball, football, returns punts, plays quarterback. He goes all the way. Cuts back 65 yards for a touchdown. Eagles in control. Southern Boons adds another first quarter touchdown. Phillips with a touchdown run. 30 yards. Eagles led it 19 to nothing. 40 to nothing at halftime. They win it. This one just final. 54 to 7 is the final. They had back to back kick returns for touchdowns in that game. Heading to Moberly, the Spartans on the home turf welcoming the Osage Indians. Spartan cheer squad ready and ring up the Moberly band. Check out this play, one of the longest of the night. Curtis Walker, he's a runner. Flies 61 yards for the Moberly touchdown. 7 0 Spartans take the lead. It was a wet field out there tonight. This one was delayed early. And look at this fourth down. Osage going for it. Snap is high. They recover, but Moberly takes over. Spartans setting up to try to get in again. Osage Indian defense comes up with a goal line stand for the try, but Moberly scored a lot more after that, winning 34 0 over Osage. The scoreboard exploding rematch was on tonight. Eldon and Owensville. Last year they combined for 141 points. Eldon won 72-69 in the regular season matchup. Tonight same two teams in Owensville. Dutchman in that home orange taking the field. Eldon coming out with our good friend number 13 Hunter Bushnell leading the way. Mustang strong. Take a look at this interception early in the game. Dawson Brandt who's known for his quarterbacking skills gets the pick and gets the feet down. Eldon would take over. Here's Brandt calling his own number. He rushed for 250 yards last week on opening night. Runs in the early touchdown for Eldon. Later on, the give to Isaiah Parsons. This guy can pile up the yardage. Carries deep inside Owensville territory. That would set up another Brandt touchdown. He takes it around the far end, fakes us out, but he gets in. Mustangs win it big 34 to 6. Not many points as last year, but the Mustangs are still 2 and 0. First home game for the Tipton Cardinals tonight. Tony Braby's team taking on the North Callaway Thunderbirds. Both teams won last week. Dawson Wright with a big night for the T-Birds. Had a couple of picks, also scored two touchdowns. Here's another pick. North Callaway turns that into points. The touchdown run for the Thunderbirds who go in. Kevin O'Neill squad wins 35 to 12. The Thunderbirds from North Callaway are 2 and 0 on the season. South Callaway gets a first win for Zach Hess. 21 6 at Herman tonight versus sales. Brock Silver's first win for the Tigers. They beat Buffalo 35 21 and Boonville gets a first win for Greg Huff, the new head coach. The Pirates beat Holden. Centralia leads Clark County in the fourth quarter 19 to 2. That had some delays there. Montgomery County falling to Winfield 57 to 26 and Warrensburg beats Marshall tonight 48 to 27.
We had a great time at California High tonight with our KRCG 13 football Friday night live. Thanks to the Pinto band, the cheer squad, dance team, and Dr. Mike Lutz, the radio voice of the Pintos. Also Central Bank for the big tailgate. Lots of free t-shirts and lots of fun out at Riley Field. Got to see a lot of good friends. California and Mexico both looking for first wins. Bulldogs scoring 15 quick points in this game. Up 15-0. Alex Kearns with a nice run for California. Coming back, same drive. Lucas Ash goes in. Pinto touchdown. This game was tied at 15 all, but Mexico back on top. Quarterback Ty Prince to Tyler Talley. This is a nice play. Steve Hag, the former Mizzou offensive lineman and Mexico head coach, now gets the win. Bulldogs 22-15 over California. Back to Columbia for the fourth game of the City Knights. The Father Tolton Trailblazers entertaining Lutheran from St. Charles. This one was delayed too. Tough night for the Blazers. Robert Hunter finds Ben Breitweiser on the pass play, but too much Lutheran St. Charles. They put up some big numbers tonight. It was 34-0 at halftime. Tolton falls 40-18. Hallsville losing to Ava 31-0. That a fourth quarter score not quite over yet. Fayette wins again. They beat Scotland County 46-16. Harrisburg trailing in the fourth quarter to Schuyler County. They had delays there. Paris wins a ball game over Salisbury 14-12. St. James loses to Perryville. Louisiana falling to Van Farr as the Indians win. And Slater goes to overtime. Slater beats Polo 14-8. And Steve's pest control defensive pest of the night. Something completely different this week. Dr. Larry Lenthicum, former Mizzou Tiger tight end, working the slingshot t-shirt launcher. Look at that fly into the crowd. With some very able assistants, Gary Versloys and Bob James, Jeff City Administrators, hard at work, our pests of the week. And our Pizza Hut delivery team of the night honors go to the Southern Boone Eagles, Trent Tracy going on the road tonight, beating Fulton 54 to seven. The Eagles off to a heart 2-0 start, a great 2-0 start. They are the Pizza Hut delivery of the night, team of the night, Southern Boone High School. Good win for the Jeff City Jays tonight too for Terry Walker. For all of our football Friday night scores, you can go to the sports page, krcgtv.com. Click on scores on high school page. Thanks to our KRCG sports team. Tony Mullen, Common and Chef making the road trip to watch Blair Oaks, Ricardo Montgomery, Greg Daly, Andrew Wofford, Mitch Bolt, Adam Knabel, director Rich Cop pressing the buttons behind the scenes. And how about producer Andrea Kirkland? We want to thank her for her service at KRCG last weekend with us at this station before she heads to San Antonio. Go Spurs. Thank you for watching. Football Friday Night has been brought to you by GFI Digital, Kempker Heating and Air Conditioning, Steve's Pest Control, and Custom Screen Printing and Embroidery.